Is it safe to assume that U.S. businesses are very much worried about the COVID zero strategy being insisted on by Beijing? Absolutely, Sherry. We're now seeing this flow through to uh, cons uh, corporate confidence in, in China. Uh, this particular survey from the American Chamber makes the, the point that businesses see uh, revenues hurting. They are talking about paring back their investment plans. And in fact, of course, they get, they're, they're either struggling to find staff or they are losing staff as, as uh, people emigrate out of China. Uh, this, of course, all feeds into the idea that the ongoing lock lockdowns are having quite an impact on the manufacturing sector. I think we know that by by this stage uh, but it's also interesting in terms of what it does mean for FDI into China because last year uh, FDI into China increased by a third it's had a good run despite all of the geopolitical tensions and the mood music around China but now you're seeing this kind of a this mood music coming out of the American companies in particular just demonstrating how much of an impact the COVID lockdowns are having and when you consider views from other chambers as well like the European Chamber for example making similar points and saying that they don't expect these lockdowns to ease anytime soon then it does raise questions over I think the FDI story for China this year and into the end of the year at least. What sort of signals are we getting at the moment from the PPOC? Well, again, it all goes back to the COVID lockdown story. The PBC came out and they're making the point that they're going to do more for small and medium-sized businesses. They've, this has kind of been a, a familiar or consistent theme from the PBC. That's a part of the economy that they are targeting. But there was an interesting line also, Heidi, that they are recognising what's going on in the property sector. They're recognising that there is a need for relief there in terms of uh, uh, the, the crackdown that has been going on uh, on the real estate side of things. There wasn't any hint, of course, of uh, wide scale or broader stimulus. The PBC has been somewhat disciplined and refrained in terms of how it is approaching the economic slowdown. But it speaks to the idea, again, that the authorities are coming, to the, f coming to, the, to the rescue of the economy, not necessarily with stimulus, but doing enough to put a floor under it. And we had that warning from Premier Li Keqing the other day about what's happening on the jobs front as well. So certainly the authorities are pulling levers now. It's not quite stimulus, but they want to put a floor under what's happening.